get that you know was coming off a loss going into the show and then lost uh, on the show the ultimate fighter and uh, had my first fight coming out of there and um, you know my whole thought process really was you can't lose this fight your backs against the wall you're, you'll be out of the UFC kind of deal and um, you know that really put me in that negative mind state the whole fight because every time I got taken down my thought was oh shit I just got taken down again I'm gonna lose instead of what do I need to do to win and uh, you know ended up losing that fight because of that reason and uh, you know Tom Ortiz had, had watched the fight and he told me uh, hey you know what you, you didn't believe until the third round so you gotta believe you know and um, it's like I got a guy you gotta meet and that's when he introduced me to uh, Al Fuentes and um, from there we started working together right before my fight UFC 104 with Razak Al Hassan and on some basic uh, breathing techniques and um, some energy work and, and basic healing you know and, and uh, just bringing my mind to focus on certain areas and uh, it was actually pretty cool that we had built that foundation during the camp because eight days before that fight uh, I had a separated rib and it was really nerve-wracking to know hey it's too late in the game to to back out of the fight and yet this is something that's gonna have you know a pretty big impact on on my fight if I let it and uh, Al came out with me to uh, to LA for UFC 104 and we sat in the room and and we went up through the breathing technique and um, and we got in a comfortable place and just focused a lot of our energy on the rib and basically made it so that any time there was attention brought to that rib, it brought me to a very relaxed place. So, to put that in perspective, during the fight, there was twice in the second round where I was kicked directly in the rib. And, it, you know, any other time would have probably, you know, knocked the wind out of me, which it did, and I would have panicked. But because of the fact that we had been introduced to that area so many times already, and I knew that, you know, once any attention was brought to that rib, I'd be comfortable. That's exactly what happened. You know, I was able to back out and just kind of, um, just redirect myself back to staying calm, refocus my energy back to my breathing, you know, so there was never any panic. There was never any, any feeling of, oh no, that's my hurt rib or man, that took the wind out of me. It was none of that. It was just, I'm very calm. I'm relaxed and I know what I need to do now to win. Yeah. And by having that, uh, that built more confidence in me than anything. Because really, you know, when you fight with a separated rib, it does take a lot out of you physically uh, in terms of your cardio and things like that. And then when you get kicked there, it really takes a lot out of your cardio. But um, I guess that first initial feeling of taking that hit and knowing that I'm going to go, I'm going to get through this, and it's not going to affect me negatively, that built strength inside me. So going into the third round in between that second and third round, I was very calm. I was able to collect myself and, and calm myself down and get my heart resting heart rate back down and, and go into the third round and succeed and, and pull out the win. So that was kind of my first first taste of uh, doing the breathing techniques and, and the visualization and really working on, on uh, controlling my tempo of my mind, controlling my heart rate and uh, staying in a relaxed state no matter what gets thrown at me you know no matter what kind of adversity is in my way and, and since then I've really thought that you know if I can fight with a separated rib you know and, and um, do the things that I was able to do then I can really get through anything